Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today y'all, I feel like creating a makeup look. So let's go ahead and get started because afterwards I've got to take my Fashion Friday video which I already have one of my Shein.com <clears throat> blouses on. It's really, really cute. I feel like this would be even pretty um, for Valentine's Day just because it has the the glittery sleeves and even though it's not red or pink but I still think it <clears throat> it's like a nice top for a nice evening out or just a nice evening in uh, a dinner date inside or something it's just really cute and um, the glitter is what makes it a little more outstanding so you do get a little pink a little you know red going on in the blouse even though the blouse top is white y'all just have to check out my um fashion friday video which i'm going to do next it's early um by the way i have on these earring uh studs they're just like studs uh i got that from shein just thought i would just point that out okay so let's get started and I do have on my blonde today I don't know how well I'm gonna really I don't know I might change up because this one is like an old one one that I had put back um I wanted to go blonde today for this look but I don't know we'll see I might switch up but let's go ahead and get into the video you guys I'm gonna use my super hydration face moisturizer it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E skin renewal type of product this is it right here I'm gonna use this to moisturize my skin plump it a little bit I need a face mask like that's probably what I'm gonna do afterwards like I'm gonna remove this makeup at some point today and I'm going to put on a mask and shave my face too um, it's just good to do that especially I know y'all know about face masks but if you don't shave your face from time to time to me shaving the face is just everything goes on so good foundation moisturizers all that good stuff so I'll probably do that I was thinking about doing it before I created this video but a lot of times I don't like to put on makeup afterwards so I said okay I'll wait and do it later now the next thing that skincare related I use is the skincare cosmetics retinol um, instant radiance booster sometimes I use this all over but for today I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes yes you can use this product right underneath the eyes but do not get close to the lash line and it does have some radiance to it but I do like it underneath the eyes a lot more than all over the face depending on how dry my face is depends on whether I will use this underneath or all over my face or just underneath my eyes right now my skin is not too dry it's kind of like somewhat dry but a bit oily so I'm not going to put this all over because I've put moisturizer on. But this is really nice underneath the eyes if you don't use it like all over. Good both ways. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright. So the next thing is a good mattifying primer. Something to help reduce my pores. I'll use the Revlon Prime Plus. I love this right here okay I think I've said that a lot of times in a lot of my videos this is not a new product by Revlon but it's new for me I think I 
I don't even recall using this when this came out like freshly like when it was brand new because I wasn't into mattifying like real mattifying primers at the time sorry you guys my light keeps jumping off like that looks good this is natural lighting right here I'll know which way to go next time because I did get up early but this is natural lighting you guys okay this is got some extra lighting there <laughs> so um it's not sunshiny outside so i figured i might need my ring light and let me change the color of this i like the natural color rather than the fluorescent color and i don't know why this light does that out of all like my regular like vanity light it doesn't flip off like that but this one it does which is really 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 weird really weird um so i got my mattifying primer on pore minimizing benefit there as well so now it's time for foundation now um I have created a video which I haven't uploaded onto my Shella Beauty Essence channel but this foundation that I'm about to put on is like luxury in the drugstore my opinion okay um, I think it's a really good foundation I love the new formula of it and the foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Light Cover Foundation has a natural finish it has spf of 35 i have two shades here because the shade panel can be deceiving i'm just letting you know if you order online i suggest you get two colors even when you go in store unless you're really good and you know exactly your shade um number i would highly recommend you get two shades but um, I had got natural beige, which I thought was going to be a little light. But on the panel, like the color panel, it looked like it would match. Got home and it, this is what it looks like. Like when I got home and opened it up, I was like, what? Okay, so I had to go back in and get another shade and I got 440. So I mixed the two together and it's like my perfect match. But y'all, this is like luxury in the drugstore. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's so good. You have to shake it up because it's real liquid. Like it's real liquid. That ain't even a word. It's real. It's so, it's, it's liquid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all it's early <laughs> i talk like that even if it's in the evening but anyways it's 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 a liquid okay um very very much so like a liquid like it's like look at that drops just comes right out so <clears throat> normally i go in with this shade first and it doesn't take a lot of this um that's the good thing because it's such a small size in my opinion of foundation so the fact that you don't have to put a lot of this to get amazing coverage is really good once you put on your bronzer your powder all of that trust me this what i put on right now is enough And actually, this is not too bad of a match on its own. So, I'm going to put a little bit more on my chin. I'm just putting makeup where I feel like I might need a little extra. <clears throat> Then I'm going to take the natural beige, shake it up. Doesn't work good unless you shake it up. And y'all, 
y'all can't be too loud i'm the only one that's up <laughs> this early i went to bed earlier so i have to watch out how loud i talk i'm so used to being in a place of my own where i get to talk as loud as i want all right i think that's enough now i'm just gonna blend it blend the shades together with my brush and you can go ahead and add it all the way underneath the eyes I find that even though I go back in with the concealer it doesn't look too thick that's what I like about the foundation too I might have done a first impression video already uh, talking about this foundation with that lighter shade because I remember buying one and creating a video I don't know if I posted it or not but if I did it wasn't the right shade but I went ahead and created the video and made it work with bronzer and other things but see how much like little little amount goes a long way it's such luxury luxurious foundation in the drugstore so good and I find that it covers really good with such a small amount of foundation so any foundation that does that in my book is luxury that means you can have one small bottle for the longest time because you don't need that much product because the foundation is so good that you don't need a whole lot of it now when you get foundations and you gotta put a whole lot of it on it just to cover and get some coverage then the foundation is not the best but it could be still a good foundation it could be a favorite of yours but I'm just saying okay a little bit of that goes along a long way and it's supposed to be light cover but this is like full coverage y'all I could have added a little bit more but like this is good amazing coverage okay I'm gonna put a little bit on my brow bone I don't put it on my lid no more but I will put a little foundation on my brow bone that kind of evens out everything you know what I mean this, this goes together okay so foundation is done all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and before I put on my concealer I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my eyelids I just been using another foundation I've been using the Believe Beauty um, <clears throat> skin finish foundation this one is in toffee they do have new shades so if you haven't checked your dollar store check it out there is new shades in this range this is a great foundation it's one of my favorite foundations I remember telling all of you about it um <clears throat> and then another video or two um I just been using the foundation as my um, eyelid primer just like you would like most of you would have just used the uh, Revlon light cover foundation I just got to be a little bit more cleaner when it pertains to my eyes so I just rather just grab me a little extra foundation and just put it on my eyelid there we go and this matches my skin so well and it just evens out my eyelid uh, with my foundation finish there we go so eyes is prepped for our eyeshadows now okay all right <clears throat> sorry you guys so the next thing I like to do is just go ahead and put on my concealer I love the Milani concealing perfect long wear concealer this one is in P 
pure beige. Usually I use medium beige and pure beige, but this one is a new one and I just have pure beige for today. So I don't need a lot. I'm just going to pull a little bit right there, just like that. Because remember, we put some foundation, or I put some foundation underneath me, my eye. So I don't need a lot of concealer. Not that much is good enough. That may be too much already. And then I just grab like one of my brushes. I'll use this one here. And just blend it in. Bring it down as far as I want or as into the center of the eye right here. You know, just put it on. And that was the perfect amount of concealer. So I like for my concealer to set just a little bit before I actually set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So while I give that some time, usually I either do my face makeup or just go in and do my brows. And I think I'm going to do my brows today. And so I'm going to use this Real Techniques new, um, what is it called? Angular or angled brow spoolie. You have a spoolie on this side and an angle uh, brow shaper. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of comb out my brows. I've grown them out as much as I want, okay? And I kind of groomed my brows just a little bit because they were looking like really wild so this is as good as it gets with me right this is this is it y'all <laughs> okay. all right so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my jordana shape and tang a retractable brow pencil this one is in blonde and I'm just going to kind of shape in my brow a little bit. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm going a little too fast. First of all, I'm going to take my ELF. Um, what is this? The wax? Clear wax, whatever, for your brows. Like to set your brows. This here, I'm going to take it. And add a little bit to this. Get my brows looking a little bit thicker. Wilder. Just put a little bit on there. It just kind of helps stick out the brows. The few little brows or the thin brows that I do have. And um, uh, Put a little bit of that in there. This brow always looks better. One brow always looks better than the other one. Okay, so now I can take my pencil. However, it's going to be a little waxy. A lot of times I don't go in with the pencil unless I want to define it and give myself an arch and all that. And that just may be what I will do with this. So I'm going to wait to use this particular like brow pencil. 
And I do have the brow gel too. That I've been loving it. to I might use that add the, the like I've been loving the right, sky you guys, high there you go. Maybelline the lash and sensational my brows mascara, with the makeup as revolution my, fast base concealer uh, product C9. or brow product. That's what I, I don't use. like it too much as mascara. My brows I mean, it's, it's okay. Is what I like to use it's anyway. better than the curve or two. Oh, okay. but this is also so, good now on the brows. So basically I'm add it's this time to my to brows. Go ahead and on top of the wax. set my under eyes. And, it's and so once low. again I just used my Laura mm -hmm. Mercier. I need to get the brown shade. Translucent powder. Especially if I'm gonna be a boy with these. brunette hair. It took me a while before I decided but to buy it. I guess I like I add a little bit black. on really and I can not, add up no, more. A lot of people still use but then this is where the but it took me a long comes time. in and this right here, the brush. But I do like it. I can this just kind of comb it through. And so and I'm gonna put some of this underneath my eyes yeah. just to set. Smooth it on out. That's was probably way too wet much. Wet in there, don't and then I can much. easily. Ooh. But I do like the highlight it under eyes. Use this brush side so and just straighten it out. Go ahead ever. and set and. My concealer and I'm gonna fix and that bit. I but do you like get the idea. Again, so I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect um, concealer, and I let it sit there first before I add this on, and it works perfectly to me. It doesn't crease too much or anything. That's just my experience. In case some of you just wondering. Okay, so now. Now it's time to go on with the face before I go to the eyes. That's just what I like to do. Um, so what I like to do is take all of my liquid products. Whatever liquids I'm going to use, I go ahead and use it now. So what I've been okay, using this to is when uh, cream I contour my face like is I've been using the L'Oreal True Match. Add powder um, to my brows or super blendable makeup. Like and I said, soft use a pencil to C6. Uh, fill I feel it. I feel in some like of the like areas, beautiful especially the color side. That's, that's because just what I like of to use the when it pertains to actual um, mascara being a little bit like darker. I need to get the contour and shade. Um, um, no, I want to go over the years. Like, what looks I'm better on me? I'm not. I'm not gonna use and the blonde. I like a caramel shade because my brows is not one. Contour. So I'm and actually I'm gonna grab like yeah, I basically any put this all over my eyeshadow like, palette or something that has cheeks. a brown in it. I do, and have, I'm basically blending it um, in with this same brush. I do have some this contour brush. Like, and I'm I make to sure say. that I do have the some color uh, stays to, to the, the back Maybelline of my eyeshadow cheeks. color, but and then I come I a little foot further I need to clean because, it up first before I use um, it. When I put um, on blush, so I'm just gonna use this palette here be like Why a not? base. Um, this one is the LA Colors mm -hmm. Nude palette. palette. It has a lot of nude shades. I don't want like a hard So I think I'll be able to fix I just my want brows. A good, nice this shade here on the, on the corner side for my face not as well there. as my blush. Oh, okay. okay, so same thing. Uh, I'm doing this all over. Now I added a little line extra on this side. In. I always do. Like. So I'll just come on up oh, here oh, on my forehead, and, and then the you can go right on top oh, there. of the mascara because it's it hard and still together. So with the ill the same thing. Wax. Remembering Pencil. to keep the color right deep, on top of it deeper if you like. Up and here, by hold the on to that brown shade. See now, and my brows look in a little soft brown versus on into black. Over closer here. to the nose and area. so you can do that 
Yes, I put it all over my oh, cheeks okay. as if this is my blush. And, they also and like sometimes my it is my blush. Thin. Sometimes this is all I, don't like I put on. Looking brows. But I may add a, a, a powder size. bronzer on better. top. But sometimes really this is my blush. My hair is A lot of side. times it's my blush because I love blushes for blush. So this side is probably going to look just what really I like. better than the other side. But I'm going to take some concealer then I just and just sort of like straighten up my brows. In. The rest of the color. Exactly my, what I thought. Onto my forehead. This side looks to me better than the other side. Now, and of course, it wouldn't be a nice bronzer day if I didn't put some bronzer. Now, what I do now down is here, I go right under side. If I want to make my brows a little thicker, here. and I do, under I take the other side of this brush. And all has to come together. Like that. And sometimes I'll and then just if I go want ahead and drag this down just arch. a little bit. And I just add some color to that my skin. wax is like literally all over this area here. So there we go. For my nose, I normally don't care for cream like bronzers on my nose. I don't know. I just don't care for that. But to make everything even, I've got to have some bronzer. Um, I'm going to put just a little bit on the back of my hand area because I don't want to touch everything. Like, I don't want everything to be touched around my nose, you know? Like, my, I want to keep that, that cream. Now, blush. I take my same blush. brush. Cream that I brush. Clean. Okay. For another day. Same too. one. So, I'm going to actually and add, or on you can get nice another stuff, brush. And, of course, I'm going to, like, really Oreo true match my brow. Because. But they I'm gonna grab a. Really bad. Like I don't brush. think I'm gonna use the same brush um, because it has all the usually brushes brow like this. It. It's I'm really made for a like brush, the crease that like has this, that little and curve. just kind of sculpt my brows. It's and I'm gonna turn it off the camera because this takes contour. too much time. It's gonna run out my battery. So yeah, I'm gonna stop it here and, and then I'll come back. Okay. And add this on and try to blend it out however i will be going back in with a bronzer and setting all that you see okay i'm just gonna Okay. And you see why I'm not a huge fan of cream bronzing anymore when it pertains to the nose. Because I just don't get it as neat as I used to. And I used to always have to go back in anyways and smooth it out. Even back in the day, I just really use powder and be done. It's just a little bit more neater. And then I can add the bronzer and just go ahead and put the bronzer into like my crease. And also this is going to outline my nose real narrow up in here by doing this. Um, I'm going to grab another brush and I'm going to do this little trick of mine that I, I did like last year 
and um, you can grab any kind of brush actually I like a softer brush like this and add just a little bit more of that bronzer the soft sable by uh, L'Oreal and I'm just going to add a little bronzer into my crease and this will be like my transition shade I did this back in 2019 with a um, bronzer stick so I'm going to grab this brush here and just go into my crease with this cream bronzer and because I got the um, the foundation on my lid is going to blend out so good okay and a lot of times when you do this you really don't even need eyeshadows like I remember creating that video and just using that as my eyeshadow that bronze stick from Believe Beauty um, it's on my Sheila channel um, I started doing this in 2019 so this is just an easier way of actually getting makeup done really quick and having some color like into your crease without having to go through all the shades and all the eyeshadow this is just a simpler way if you want to go for something more natural, something a little more, you know, just, yeah, natural. Bronzer is the way to do. Set it in 2019. Now that looks really now it looks really really put together however these harsh this this harsh part here I know all of you is looking at it so now I can grab this brush and smooth out the edges of that bronzer around my nose and it's gonna look like my whole nose is bronze now but with a little little translucent powder I can get it all back like looking like a natural contour. So I'm going to grab some of this translucent powder on the back of my hand, grab this brush, just go right here and just straighten out this line and even lighten up the bronzer if I feel like the bronzer is a little too hard or a little bit too bold whatever and then I'm going to fix it with the bronzer powder Now I feel like everything is sort of like blending in very well. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set my face and then I'm going to go in with the bronzer. The bronzer that I will be using to not only set my face but also use as a bronzer like in the areas that I've already got bronze is the Milani um, Silky Matte. <clears throat> silky matte suntan and I use this bronzer with the Physicians Formula Super BB powder right here Beauty Balm powder I mixed the two together 
and that matches my skin tone perfectly because right now I had to throw away one of my favorite powders I'm very upset about that but I had to do what I had to do so um, now we're just gonna add some powder I need a dryer brush so I'm just gonna grab note that's a foundation brush let me see if I can find my powder brush I'm going to use this powder brush here and what I do is I use more of the BB cream because you know the bronzer of course it's bronzer and then I dab into the bronzer and then I just set my face very nicely And then I can go on with the bronzer if I feel like I, I've i got way more of the other shade than the bronze. And then I just go back in with the bronzer shade and I fix it. Okay. Set everything here. All right. So the next thing is using my bronzer and take this brush. I like a stippling brush. Any kind of stippling brush works very good. It's just my favorite. So now I take just the Milani bronzer and I lightly go over my face and um, and I even go on top of the apples of the cheeks with it and it's going to smooth out that cream bronzer smooths it out because it's like setting it and I'm smoothing it out with the stipple brush as well so and then I also add it up here you know I add it all over where I've placed bronzer on my face Alright, so this is the area where I'm just like, okay. Now I'm going to grab my foundation brush and right here, I just feel like there's too much bronzer right up in there. And even on the, right there, just remove some of that bronzer just a little bit. Okay. And then what I do is I can either use my finger and add on bronzer or better yet just get a brush and this one seems like a good one a good brush to use so I'm gonna put a good bit on so I don't have to double dip into my bronzer because this is like going right on my nose So there we go with the bronzer you guys by Milani. Now I'm going to take what's on my brush and go in and create those lines. narrow the nose there we go and sometimes I can go a little bit too much like but that's okay my nose look narrow right
all right so that's pretty much the contour nose now um eyeshadows i will be using eyeshadows today and the eyeshadows i will be using is um so i'm going to use i want to use Revlon another one of so my real one um eyeshadow palette called clap back this one's like the blue version um I've got three others which I've uh, mentioned in another video and I think I've got to get three more and then I have all of them. These eyeshadows are so, so, so good. They're like butter. It's like luxury eyeshadows in the drugstore. They're really nice, very blendable. They blend in very nicely very natural if you have not tried these i highly recommend that you do they're really nice so i feel like going for the blue shade probably this one the brown shade the blue one in this beautiful taupe um it looks like a taupe shade but it has a little purple um to it so i feel like using those three shades so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try this brown shade. For, well, wait, 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 wait! I'm going too fast. Okay, first I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use all four shades. I'm gonna use this light shade on my brow bone. <clears throat> um, I have a specific brush for everything. Here it is. This one is real nice as a brown brow bone shade. This is going to be... Now these eyeshadow palettes are not like matte. Like they have a little shine, a little sheen to them. And you'll see it here in a minute. Like look at that. Already. Like you can see the little shine. So pretty though. I do love these eyeshadows. I want all the palettes. Once again, I have four of them so far and i look forward to getting the other three palettes very soon they're just easy palettes you can put one shade on and they look good or you can just do what i'm doing right now which is creating a look basically using most of the shadows i'm going to go ahead and put this shadow into my inner corner here and I'm going to try not to scoop back into that shadow, but you know what? I'm going to have to grab some on my finger. I hate doing that, but I have no other choice. And just adding some of that color into the inner corner so I don't have to worry about it later. And I'm sort of blending it out because this brush works really good for blending. I don't really care for the like real bold highlighted look every single time I create a look. I just want just a little shine in the inner corner that's good for me. Now I'm going to take the next shade which is this brown shade there. I'm going to take it. Hold on you guys. Let me wipe my hands off. I'm trying to be very clean because... I don't want to talk about it you guys I really don't I'm not going to I'm just trying to keep myself clean so I can continue to wear them over and over and over use the palette over and over okay all right so I'm gonna use I'm gonna take the brown shade right here and I'm gonna scoop it into right into my crease even though I already have this beautiful bronze shade right directly above it. If you look at the sh the shadows you see how they blend in just so easily. Um, I probably put way too much shadow on but it will all come together. Like it's gonna look amazing. I'm going to go in with the blue shade next. And I'm just going to kind of um, blend out the edges. But y'all see how pigmented this is? Like, 
Look at that. So pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. I love eyeshadows like that. That helps me to get done way more quicker and easier and faster. So I'm going to use this um, <clears throat> shade and blend like brush and sort of blend out the edges of this. A little bit smooth out the edges. I'm going to do this one eye and then I'll go back and do the other one off camera just because y'all it's going to take me a while. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go in with this blue shade. I'm using a different brush. This is um, one of my favorites. This is the uh, Cheek Pro Crease Brush. Now I'm going to go in with this one. Oh my god, that's so pretty. I figured it was going to be a very beautiful shade. Um, I'm loving it. I feel like I took a lot of the brown shade away though. And I'm going to have to put that back on. Okay. Oh my god, that's... See how pigments it like? Look at that. Revlon, you did a good job with these eyeshadows and that light cover foundation. So good. I can't stop talking about it. It's just so good. Okay, so now going back in with the brown shade. And basically, I need a different brush. I'm going to be honest with you. I need one of those corner brushes. Um, I just used one of them. I used to have so many of them, and then I got rid of some of them because I was not using them as regular as you should. And now it seems like I need those brushes more than ever. <clears throat> And I got rid of a lot of them. Here's one. I found me one like this. These brushes come in handy. Especially when you're doing the corners. And even adding on extra shade up here above a color you have actually already have applied. And you need to add that shade back on. I find these brushes right here very handy. There we go. Okay. Yes, just like that. Now, I didn't take that brown shade away. That's my thing. I don't want to take that away. So, adding on the blue again a little bit, but not going over what I just applied. So now, I'm going to take this beautiful um, purplish topis, topi shade <laughs> from the palette. And usually I like to do a, like a cut crease type of thing, but I'm not going to today. I'm just going to take another eyeshadow brush and just simply put this on, okay? See what this looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. And see how the shades, the colors just kind of blend in together with every every palette is like that. The colors that they chose to put in the palettes, they all seem to go well together and blend in together. So it's not really difficult to um, create a look. It's like all of them look good together. Like, yeah. This is just giving me like a little highlight. And that's exactly what I want. Alright, I think that's good enough. I 
I don't think I need to go any further. Now what I will do from here is I will um, I do it last. I'm gonna add some color on the bottom, which I can I can simply just get another brush. Like, come on, you can just wash it. You wash it later. <laughs> I don't like washing brushes. I don't like washing brushes anymore. I'm gonna take the blue shade here. I might mix it with a little bit of that brown and put that in on my uh, bottom lash line. Okay. So you get a little fallout. I have some on my under eye here. There we go, like I wanna leave it with just the blue. I'm not gonna even add the brown shade on. I want it to kind of stick out on the bottom lash line. Alright you guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch this eye up like with this one and then we'll come back with the liner and the mascara, okay? And blush and let me get this fallout right there okay just a little bit a little fallout you guys but nothing too bad so y'all let me go ahead and catch this eye up with this eye and I come back with the mascara and the liner and we'll get finished I might come back with the blush and just tell you what blush I use so yeah this video is getting long okay <laughs> Alright you guys, this is the look. This is the finished look. Um, <clears throat> so I'll tell you the remaining products. Um, I didn't want to come back in because I know this video is already long enough. So I'll just tell you um, the other products that I put on. The only other products that I put on is um, <clears throat> the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, full fan effect mascara I love this one this is my favorite I was going to put on some falsies but I thought I'd wait and do that in another video very soon okay so I just used this mascara here which is my favorite and also I used the um, L'Oreal Carbon Black Pencil Perfect Self Adjusting Eyeliner in carbon black um, I put this on my lower lash line I don't know you guys this doesn't stay put in my waterline like the infallible one um, so I feel like I'm gonna start using this just as a um, like eyeshadow base um, because it just doesn't stay put I would love that I would like if my liner was more deep and intense um however i don't have another one um as far as the liner on top i did use a liquid liner i used my rimmel ink me eye and body liner that's what i used right there on my top lash line and we've talked about the mascaras so that's what I used. Oh, sorry, you guys. That's what I used. And then um, for blush. Okay, I know this blush is very intense. But, y'all, you know, it's like Valentine's. It's going to be Valentine's Day. I mean, okay, like I was saying, you guys, uh, I mean, it's Valentine's or it will be Valentine's Day very soon. So. Um, I don't know. I like my high cheekbones, so I went all in with the blush color. Honestly, this is not blush. It's an eyeshadow palette. I hadn't used, and I saw it, and I went like, this will be my perfect blush palette or eyeshadow palette. Just whatever I want to use it for, eyes or blush. For today, I used two shades on my um, cheeks. 
and I used the shades from the Profusion Cosmetics Spectrum 10 shade palette. It looks like this. Yes, very vibrant, vivid, just gorgeous. And the shades that I use is actually this bronze bronze shade I used all over my um, cheeks and then especially focusing more on the back side and then in the front I did use a little pink to get it a little vivid and not be just so bronzy however I absolutely love this and I think that this will be a great bronze shade to use all over I will try that in another makeup look but y'all this is gorgeous holly pigmented palette really really like this one you guys so I did use this as my blush okay just thought I'd mention that because y'all did not get to see that so I'm telling you right now what I use alright and as far as my lipstick I've been wearing this gorgeous nude uh, lip color that is uh, has been a long time favorite of mine and I decided to I use it again okay this is the wet and wild <clears throat> mega last <clears throat> okay it's the wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit high shine lipstick this is in uh, send nudes 944b um, it's just the, my perfect nude perfect nude uh, the other one was called nudie patootie by wet n wild I can't find that one that was more like the matte version and it's like a gray tone taupey brown type nude um, but this one is like my perfect nude it's called sand nudes that's by wet n wild the mega last liquid cat suit looks like this <clears throat> that's what I have on my lips and I've been loving it. I've been getting back into the nudes. So, yeah. That's it. Like, that's basically what I use outside of everything else that y'all saw. Once again, I highly recommend these Revlon eyeshadow palettes, you guys. These are amazing. Look at my eyes right now. Like, it's so pretty. And it is wearable for uh valentine's day um this one here is in clout back that's the name of it but it's the red one so fierce prismatic palette um this is so cute i love all the color co coordinations of of colors is what i'm trying to say i love it i use every single one of them and this is what i created i really like it i do have three other y'all <laughs> ah! okay I'm just gonna leave it just like this this may be cute it may not I know I'm gonna go back to the the daytime lighting okay now <laughs> all right so I have the cloud back palette here okay and then I have this one here in tantrum and then I have this one here in That's a Dub, which is your neutral palette. If you love neutrals, this one has a pop of green, and this one is called Fully Loaded. So those are the four that I have, and I want the other three. I think it's seven palettes in this collection. So I'm looking forward to getting that other palette because I'm not going to be complete without the other one because I absolutely love these palettes. Also, you guys, um, hold on for just a minute. I'm just trying to place everything. Uh, don't forget to try out, y'all, like I'm serious, um, these foundations. Um, I have it on as you know the Revlon color stay light cover foundations here um, has a natural finish 
as you can see on my face like my face looks so amazing this is like luxury in the drugstore you guys these are amazing if you ever use the, the Revlon color stay foundation I used to love it back in the day but this one here the light covered oh my god Revlon y'all did amazing job with these foundations as well as those so fierce uh, prismatic um, eyeshadow palettes that I just showed y'all wonderful products highly recommend them this is what I use I use the shade uh, 240 and 440 I mixed the two together because I didn't get the right shade from the beginning but y'all so beautiful um, highly recommend it and so yeah you guys I'm gonna hush right there I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, makeup look now I'm about to do my um, fashion Friday video so yeah you guys I thank y'all for watching please come back for more videos um, don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment if you want and yeah I'll see y'all my next video take care bye bye <laughs>